Hello everyone. I have finally created the uh, cemetery lot with the new life and death pack. I did start this before I got the pack and I I love this build. In fact, I love this building. And I love this building so much that I will be uploading this on a smaller lot as its own, you know, lot without the cemetery so you can do whatever you would like with it. If you would like, I can also upload the shell. I do have that saved as well. I did make some changes to it and you'll see that, but the basic idea of this is is there and I can go through and kind of update what I changed on it so I decided to go with a church feel this is a funeral focused building it is not made to be a church though if you do play that way you could use it but that's not how I designed it it is designed for funerals and I just think it's so pretty it fits very well into the architecture I did look up um, churches in Romania which is where the Ravenwood is based on and it is based off of this church right here. And I I just thought it was very pretty. Now, of course, it's The Sims. I couldn't make it look exactly like that. And I had to make a few little changes here and there. But in general, it has a very cool look. And I am very happy with this. I I want to say it took me probably six hours just to do the church building on this. And yeah, it, it, it took a while. I made some changes, did some things. Um, of course, this was all based on what I had seen of the pack so far, at least until this you know I move into Ravenwood but so that so that made it difficult but I do want to point out as well I made this like a country church so this is not built for the current cemetery lot in Ravenwood I put this eventually into the countryside. I can't remember the neighborhood name. But that is where I ended up putting this. Here we go. There's the switch over. Um, and I think it looks really cool there. I just thought, you know, this, it would fit. It would fit a little bit better here, one. Um, but that's also the other reason I decided to save it the building and upload it so that you could put it onto a lot that would work with the current cemetery lot in Ravenwood. Um, it just, the pathways won't line up is really the big thing. So, yeah, no, they, they have a couple of paths going in and a couple of, you know, entry points that just wouldn't work with this build. So I did test it in case you're wondering. But you'll understand as I start building a little more as to what I'm talking about with that. So, I also struggled a little bit um, trying to figure out how to make this look the way I wanted it to. I, I changed my mind a little bit with all these windows and eventually I get it. I like how it turned out. I'm going to be honest, I will probably use this lot for funerals, but I built another graveyard lot 
for my legacy games, and I will be using that one for, you know, actual burial. Um, I was going to go through and redo the lot, but I got into my personal legacy game and started kind of putting in a few things, and I realized there really wasn't much changed. So I'm going to leave that one on the gallery as is base, you know, not base game only, but you know, not life and death pack. Um, and feel free to add to that one if you like that one better. I like it because it's more of a mausoleum building that you can walk into and, you know, actually do stuff in with your Sims. Um, that being said, I did stick, I believe, two mausoleums on that lot. And I like how they look. It works well. I had already planned on at least the outside lot area being for townies that maybe I was friends with or something. Or, you know, died on my lot or however, you know, that'll end up working. But So having those little mausoleums was cool. But I didn't make a lot of changes to that build. So I'm not going to re-upload it. Uh, I will show you pictures. So those should be up tomorrow on the community tab of kind of what I did. I did have to update it to make it a cemetery lot though. Because I didn't put a bathroom in that lot. I don't know why, but I didn't. So, you know, I put a bathroom in. Um... But again, just that might be something you'll have to do if you want to use it as a cemetery lot. I put it when you're facing from the front of the lot in. I took out one of the back doors and put it to the left of the office area I have. So just an idea of where you could place a bathroom. Because the cemetery lots do require that. They also require a garbage can, so I had to add that in as well. So, yeah. I I like it because the it met most of the requirements besides those two. So, so just a heads up with that if you decide you want to download that lot. So here, I'm still kind of playing around with how I want the inside to look, along with dealing with the roof glitches. Um, yeah. It was fun trying to figure out how to make this look and keep the roofs where I wanted them. And yeah, I had some cool ideas for this build that I just, I couldn't do because of the roofs and... It was sad. I really wish for these little side rooms I have that we would have a half roof that we could put on those. Kind of like we have the half, I guess it's not really a gabled roof, but we have the ability to kind of make uh, one of the roofs a half roof. I wish they would do that with the with all the roofs give us that ability to do a half roofs because you might have caught it they kept kind of glitching in when I removed some things so it was sad and I couldn't have things as open as I wanted them to be just just didn't work but I still think it's a beautiful build as I said, if you wanted to use this as a church, you definitely could. You'd take out the funeral stuff I put in at the front. But there's chairs. There's going to be a whole bunch of stuff that would easily convert to a church if you wanted to use it for that. I believe there are some mods that allow you to kind of have a church lot, but don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. All right. So here, just kind of trying to, I don't know, make it pretty. I didn't really have a set color scheme at this point. I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do. So I was just kind of playing around with things. And I think, though, it worked out really well. It's really pretty. There's a whole bunch of different areas for displaying things. And I just thought it, you know... 
of the items we get to make cemeteries and the funeral homes are wonderful. So, we'll get into this. I have upgraded my opinion of the build items in this pack, which I kind of figured would happen. I want to say, and some of this is due to watching some other videos where I realized people are making this distinction, um, and I wanted to because it is true, the build items are wonderful individually. They are wonderful. They're designed well. We needed things like this in the pack. I have no issues with the individual build items. Love them. It's when you're trying to build with just this pack and base game and do it in a house format that you can run into issues. You can't build an entire house very easily with these packs that looks decent. Anyway, part of that is still my thing about curtains, okay? Um, but this build focuses on the life and death pack, but it is a multi-pack build. I tried to keep, you know, the packs down, but to be honest, when I got to landscaping, that kind of went out the window a little bit. So I have not uploaded it to the gallery, so I'm not sure what packs I've used on it yet. But, but, um, there are a few. So, um, but you will see, I tried very hard to focus mostly on the life and death pack. I will say there is for sure a few of my wedding stories things thrown in here because flower arrangements, um, there's a couple that would work for either one. And if you're going, how would you transfer that over as somebody who actually did floral design in high school? through a technology center, you would be surprised at how those two weddings and funerals are so similar. You really don't have to learn different arrangements for those. So a lot of it is coloring and a lot of it is congratulations for sympathy. So yes. I would re definitely recommend if you have the My Wedding Stories pack, use the flowers from there because it, it works in most cases. All right, so I kind of finished up most of this building and you see me here kind of going through things. I was attempting to see if I could find a pond and I gave up. None of them were big enough. This ended up being a really big pond. Uh, but I really wanted it. Again, we're looking at kind of more of a country church graveyard. And I wanted it to have a little bit more of a natural look. However, there is some structure to it. At least parts of it. So I, I do like how that turned out. But you can see here, this is where... We really ran into issues, or I really ran into issues, moving it to the other cemetery lot that exists currently in this world. I did not design it for it, so that's why I'm saying it won't work. It doesn't line up, but, but it works perfectly out here, and I think it's just very cute and just an extra fun lot to have here. I also absolutely love this neighborhood for multiple reasons. One, I, in my current legacy challenge, am playing on the farm that I built. Um, that was a custom content build that I did. I promise I'm going to try to do another one of those soon. Um, but it's in Enford on Bagley, of course, but I also did a pumpkin farm and an apple orchard, and all those are videos on my channel if you want to check those out. Um, 
At least I believe they both are. And so spots to put some of this stuff was kind of limited. I wanted to put in a, a barn that, um, it's a wedding venue. I wanted to put that in and I wanted it in Hemford on Bagley. And... I did, but I didn't want to get rid of my apple orchard and my pumpkin patch because it's fall. So I realized, I'm like, oh wait, we just got this new pack. It has a country world in it. So I threw my apple orchard over here thinking that would probably work, work really well in this, you know, for this pack. And I happened to have a size that worked. I did have to tear down something. Somebody's house. Somebody's house was torn down. But that worked out really well. And then, of course, I have thrown this, this cemetery into this lot. But I was able to put the wedding venue in, and that made me happy. Now, I do want to say, I don't think I've uploaded the wedding venue to the gallery because I didn't do the initial barn build. I pulled it off the gallery, and I cannot remember who did that. But I'm thinking about uploading it with kind of a comment just stating, hey, downloaded the main barn and some of this from the galleries. You know, it isn't all mine, but I did a lot of work on it. So I might do that. So look for that if you're looking for kind of a more rustic venue. But yeah, so again, another prop to this pack. I... I'm just, I'm so far, I'm very happy with it. All right, so here I just wanted to create a kind of, I don't know, calm, relaxing little, I don't know, secret seating area, whatever. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Um, I do want to say with the mausoleum section, because I talked over that entire thing, I really wanted that to kind of have an older feeling to it so I hope I pulled that off fairly well I did have a lot of fun playing with some of that and getting those all set up I do like them and I, I haven't played with them yet so I'm, I'm interested to do that I just haven't needed to or anything yet um, I was working on a gameplay where you know I did the Reaper career but then I got pulled into my legacy because all my mods updated and I got excited. So, so yeah. But here, like I said, at this point, I'm kind of going through adding in a few things. Um, the original layout for the cemetery that's in the game does have this fun fire pit that they put in base game. So I thought, you know what? I like that. We have the pond there. Let's do that. So I put that in. And now I'm just kind of going through and adding in some stuff to make the fence not look so weird. And just a few things. Trying to figure out how I want this to look. I originally had thought about putting, like, food outside. Like a little area to get, you know... Food, but then I was like, well, what if it's raining? So I end up adding in one of the uh, banquet tables from my wedding stories inside. And I'll put like a patio table, picnic table in um, later. You'll see that. So I decided, too, that this side, I wanted to kind of create a little garden space here. Nothing too crazy. I didn't want to go overboard with the landscaping for multiple reasons. One, so that there would be more room for you to add to this cemetery lot, you know, as your sims died. Um, and two, because I, when I think of a cemetery, I do tend to think of more open space. So I didn't want to go too crazy, but, you know, landscaping made sense in a couple of spots. But I didn't do a whole lot. 
and I like it. I like how that looks. I like how it's kind of like this area here is more planned out and then you have the big open field that maybe was there with the pond and they've just, you know, extended out from there. Uh, but yeah, it did really turn out. I think it's going to be a nice kind of peaceful type area. I do want to state I did not add a pet cemetery to this lot. Um, there is room if you would like to add one, but I decided not to do that on this one. But my other mausoleum cemetery does have a pet cemetery if you're looking for that. I just decided not to do it here. Now, there are some pets, you know, that are, I have some urns for them that are displayed outside. So, you know, pets are welcome, but I didn't make a specific spot for them. All right, so here you can see me kind of trying to play around with trees and figure out how I want this to look. Um, yeah, I think it was just, you know, I'm finally able to use a few packs. So I was just playing around with a whole bunch of stuff. But I did want this, again, to have that country kind of vibe with a little bit of overgrowth, but nothing too crazy. I want it to look like they take care of it. But maybe the corner here isn't taken care of as well as the rest. They leave a lot of that to overgrow a little bit. So, um, yeah, I, in general, think this turned out to be a really good cemetery lot. I, again, purposely left space. Like, you could take that one tree out that's near the fire pit and add more graves. Lots of options. You could probably add more graves into this section. I just wasn't sure, usability-wise, if we could put in you know, kind of overlap them a little bit. Not sure on that. So if we can, you can always add more. So that's always a good thing. All right. So again, just kind of trees, a little more around the pond here. Just trying to make it look a little bit, a little bit better than, than what I had. Again, not wanting to go too crazy, but it needed something. It needed something. And I do love this pond. I love it so much. It comes together eventually. And that's the thing with the ponds. I would love to see like a pond pack where we had more plants we could put in the ponds. Um, something to that extent. But yeah. All right. I will say terrain paint makes all the difference. That went in, and that was that was it. I was sold. I'm like, you are done and beautiful. And it made me happy. So, yeah. I'm trying to think, what else? We're coming up to the end of the build here. If there was anything else while I was building this, I was thinking I wanted to tell you guys. But nothing's coming to mind, so I must have said everything. Probably not, but... Um, so... Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this build, too. What you guys think. Think of the pack, because seriously, I, I love this thing. I love this thing so much. And also, let me know if you download this. I know there's probably lots to choose from because everybody is making cemeteries. But I couldn't resist. Mostly because I wanted to create my own funeral lot. So... So that's, that's kind of where, where this, you know, I need to do this came. But yeah, in general, I'm happy with it. Much happier with the build mode in the pack after doing this as well. It is something we needed. We needed cemeteries and more things to put into cemeteries. So definitely higher grade now than when I was building the house or the houses. Um... I am probably going to go ahead and do a paranormal, you know, do multiple like occult packs. That might be next week, but nah, next week's build. All right, I'm going to let you take a look at the photos and I will be right back.
All right, so I do want to point out I could not get a photo of the office upstairs. It just was not letting me get in there. Um, but you can see it on the floor plan photos. All right, again, I'd love to know what you think of this build. Your thoughts on the pack. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this build. All that fun stuff. And... Yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you Friday for the Occult Legacy Challenge. Here's the question. Do we get abducted by aliens or not? You guys have a good day. Bye now.